What's going on YouTube? So today we have an unboxing. Got a Gymshark package in the mail the other day. And I have, I ordered three pairs of sweatpants from Gymshark. And I have a few other products that I've had for a little bit of time that I really, really like that I'm gonna be, I guess, showing an accurate sizing guide. And also just showing you what these kind of look like on people. Cause there is a lot of different lines of clothing with Gymshark, but a lot of the stuff is very, very high quality. And I remember when I was in high school looking at their stuff and I think that was when they were only in the UK and I think a stringer was like 30 or $40, then another like $10 to get it shipped. So it's a lot more reasonable now to actually obtain this stuff, but they've come a long way and they've got great products. My stats, I am 6'2", about 220 pounds right now. And I'm gonna show you, typically I wear XL in pants because of the length, because I am 6'2", and that's usually with like Nike, Under Armour. But with Gymshark, I'm noticing that large fits pretty well. And I think with the sweatpants that I did get, some, one is XL and the other two are large because they're looking at more of like an athletic fit and there's a little more stretch and they do give you a little extra length. With the uh, t-shirts, unless it's a very fitted shirt, like this shirt is an XL and it fits very nice, but that's because it's fitted. But in most shirts, I usually go for a large um, if they're not like, they're not really athletic tapered fits. So I'm also gonna give you my stats right here. And that is all of like my measurements, my glute measurement, arm measurements, and all of that. So everything you would like to know is right there. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first we have the arc bottoms in XL. Sorry if you see the dogs in all of these. But these are the arc. They're pretty, I mean, maybe it's that it's because it's an XL, but they are a little more loose. Um, there is a little bit of like movement there and they're kind of more loungy. Um, of course they are stretchy as most of their stuff is. Thanks Chloe. But yeah, overall pretty good. These are more of a lounge uh, type swoop. This is more of like something that I would want to like hang out or do like maybe an upper day in. It's more of like a comfortable thing as opposed to like a really tight um, showing your glutes, showing your hamstrings. They're also like a pretty like, I guess you could say more of like a clothy one. Um, these also feel, I've had some like pajama pants that are similar in the way. There's a little stretch but not like a crazy amount but it is kind of like more sweatpants material. So now let's go on to pair number two. Okay, so next up we have the Fit Tapered Bottoms. You may recognize these because Matt Ogus always wears these. Um, and that also kind of inspired me to get them. They fit very nice, very stretchy, very comfortable. Again, it's kind of, it's a sweatpants material. It's a little different and I think it's a little softer and thinner. Definitely thinner than I think those were the arc bottoms. <laughs> I think those are the arc bottoms, but definitely like a thinner material, but it's more fitted, but that also may be just because it's a smaller size. This again is a large. The reason I went with a large in this is when I looked at the like model who I think was 6'2", there was sufficient length that I was like, I probably won't need an XL. With the arc or the, the first bottoms that I tried on, the model looked like it may have been a shorter fit but I think I probably, I could have been wrong. So maybe I would have been better with a, a large in that one. But either way, it if you go a size up, it may just be a little loose, but they're still pretty comfortable with sweatpants. And these ones, I would definitely be wearing in the gym. And also I've been looking forward to get these for a while because Metogus always wears them. It makes it look like he has some massive man cakes. Let's try on pair number three. Ooh, these feel nice even just putting on. These are a very different material. It feels nice, but also Gymshark really stepped up their game with even their, um, what they hang, like their their tags. So it's like a transparent kind of thing. And it's got like a little stretchy band. These are, <laughs> even, even their tags are nice. But they got like little details here and there, like even like the tag on the back has um, a Gymshark logo. So this pair is the Fallout Bottoms. Um, I think these were a little newer one. And actually, I think they may have been on like clearance when I saw them. When I was shopping on the website, Nicole actually picked these out and I was iffy about them, but they feel so nice. This material is different than a sweatpants material. It's almost, it's kind of, it feels like a performance material, not like a sweatpant or anything, but a thin performance material, but it's really, really like smooth. It's, it's a nice feel. All right, so here's how they look. But 
But yeah, very, very nice. They have this part right here. It's more like meshy. And so it's a little different fabric there. And it's also the same thing behind the calf. How they have that going on there. And all the sweatpants that I've tried on have the zipper at the bottom. They can zip up or just keep down, which I typically would do. And they all have zipper pockets, which is also a nice thing too. Um, except some of them are pretty tight. These are pretty tight sweatpants. Um, if you get them to fit you like an athletic fit. So whatever you put in your pocket is probably going to be busting out a little bit. But yeah, whatever you put in your pockets will probably be like popping out a little bit. But they make the quads look pretty, pretty good here. So I'm digging these. I really like, and these ones are very, very stretchy too. Like I feel like I'm almost wearing leggings. So I really, these may be my favorite of the, the new ones that I've gotten. Because it's like, it's not a sweatpants material. It's like really smooth. It's a cool color. I'm just scared to do like hip thrust in them. And I don't want to put, because it's a light color, I don't want to be like sitting on the ground and like staining them. But I'll probably do it anyway. So next, we have, if you watch, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you just, even if you watched my last video, um, I wear these shirts a lot. It's the Performance Long Sleeves. So I originally got this one. So I'm gonna try that on real quick. So here is that on, let me actually zoom this out because now we're doing the shirts. So here's what that looks like. As a good fit. This is an XL as well. So it's actually pretty fitted for like what an XL typically is. So I really, and it really makes your chest appear bigger than it actually is because they did some shading technique. So the upper part of it is lighter to make your chest look bigger because usually lighter looks is the opposite of what black does. Black is slimming, darker colors are slimming. But if you have a lighter color, it's gonna make that appear a little bigger. It kind of gives you the illusion of a more like exaggerated V taper because it's just making you look a lot broader. And then it goes into a darker color, which is very, very smart. I got this a while ago. I think it was like 45 bucks, but I really, really liked it. So what I did was they came out with some other ones that were a little different. This shirt is the, this is the Phantom Seamless Long Sleeve T-shirt. But yes, I am wearing an XL and the fit is just perfect. Gymshark usually runs a little smaller, so I'm more confident in like wearing an XL. I know it's gonna be long enough and it's not like a lot of American shirts do because again, we are leading uh, the race to obesity. The US has a lot of more heavier set extra larges um, as opposed to the athletic fits. What happens is when I go from like large to XL, it doesn't get, the shirt doesn't get longer and longer. It actually just gets large XL and it, the length will stay the same. So sometimes those will just be really baggy and not form fitted. So that's why I really like getting Gymshark or athletic fitted shirts. And so I picked up two more. I picked this up in two new colors and they're a little different. So I'm gonna show you those as well. So you can already see the design on the back is a little different. How they're, you can see on the back, it's a little different. How there's like that line in the middle and the like shading goes a little deeper. Um, also, there's a V instead of the regular, so there's kind of like a V with that shading and then there's like another darker V like right above that. So let me put that on. So it's a pretty similar fit, but I actually think that this one is a little bigger. It's a similar shirt, but I think it's like the, the next edition. Alright, so this has more of a V instead of just the whole thing being like that light shading. Um, and then... The side is still the same. Hello, hello. And then let me give you that 180. But yeah, I really like the fit of these. I used to avoid like squatting and performance shirts because usually they're a little more slick. But there's also the lighter color is a little grippy too as well. Not to the extent of like an A7 shirt where it's like that rubber, but there is a little grip here. So I'm not afraid to do low bar in these shirts. Finally, I have one more shirt. And finally, we have that same shirt in the blue. And again, same thing with the V, but I really like this color. 
the the lighter on the top is going to catch light and make you look a lot bigger because it's going to make that again expand and the darker color is going to make your waist look thinner. So the green and the blue shirts are called the Gymshark Performance Sleeveless Long Sleeve T-shirt. And I have the dive blue marl, and then I also had the forest green marl. Really love these shirts, these are probably my favorites that they have, and someone told me that girls like guys in long sleeves when they're fitted, so thermals and these kinds of shirts are going to be A1 for you guys. But that's going to be the video again. With the sweatpants, I got that one extra large because of the length, but I don't really think that's going to be much of an issue um, with these more athletic fit because they are catering towards people that are athletic. So instead of getting like wider and wider and catering to the more heavy, higher body fat individuals, they are more so looking at extra large and larges as pretty much longer um, clothing. So you, if you are a taller person like me, 6'2", still large XL is probably where you're gonna wanna be. I think I've even seen some 6'2 models pull off the medium. But it's gonna be all up to you guys. I hope this helped you out. Um, if it did, be sure to like the video and leave me a comment. And if you really like the video, subscribe to my channel. With that, that's gonna do it. I'll see you guys in the next one.